to the new expansion, Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds. So when we're actually recording this, we are probably one of the, or if not the first person or slash people in the world to be playing this because I literally started this up and started recording as the countdown finished for the expansion to be released. It's already pre-downloaded and everything like that. So it went one and then it said content available, clicked it, started recording straight away. So yeah, we're going to be one of the first people to explore the frozen wilds if, if the map loads. M map please load. Yeah, here we go. So this is the expansion. This whole space here is the entire expansion. And we are about to... Yeah, it's definitely the whole expansion. We are about to find out what they've put in here, what kind of horrible beasties and whatnot. So yeah, let's um... I do that again. Let's continue the exploration and find out what those blue glowing lights are for. <gasps> That's how you get to the expansion. Oh yeah. That's what I do. Do I yeah, just climb up? Alright, let's go. Right, so one of the first people in the world, guys. It's pretty sweet. Alright, we've officially stepped where nobody's ever stepped before. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep on saying it because I'm just really, really happy and proud that we can do this together. Oh, I love the new quest icons. Uh, let me quickly just talk before we talk to this guy. What's his face? Yeah, Ricky. Um, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching this and um i would be streaming this but i want to give it to you in the best possible quality so yeah let's you don't look like you know go this talk to patch hunter. actually let's, let's loot all of their stuff first supply crate give me all that health potion give me that supply crate give me all that all right let's go seems you're a long way from anything where does this trail lead for me it leads south away from the banook Past the grave horde. Anakai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osaram territory. And take it from me, you want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Hang on, let's just quickly t <laughs> turn the, the audio up. Speech, let's put it up to 90. Right. Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. Alright, what, what the what heck's sort of cut? Place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Ban Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Kardra. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. You're going to Meridian? Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just recount the songs from Ban Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. All right, let's go. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. And the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. Alrighty, I just did every option of that because it's the first person that we come across in the expansion. Wanted to make sure that we knew what everything was going on. Boy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking... 
The nuke shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuke is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. <laughs> Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. <clears throat> but as usual, you'll do as you wish. Mm, touchy. Yeah, this guy's a bad guy. I'm pretty darn sure, because in the previous game, um, after we took out the bad guy, which I did, I did a video on that. It wasn't too good because it was like one of my first. But um, we did the final quest. We took out the main bad guy, which is a, a machine called um. I actually just forgot Hades, Hades, and um, is what corrupted all the machines. We had to take it down, kill it, and everything like that. And then we thought we killed Hades, but then it it flew away into the sky because it's some kind of like a virus, kind of. It's hard to explain. You'll find out if it comes back here and it flew over to the guy we're just talking to Silas or I think Silas or Silence or something like that this will come in handy scorcher this one's a new predator I can see the heat coming off it that did like no damage got me worried. This thing's got me full on worried. I don't want to fight a pack of those guys. Damn, that guy was tough. Like, really tough. Like, incredibly tough. Like, almost jacked myself tough. Definitely no running away from those guys. Oh, this is cool. Love the detail and design that. I'd have to leave something else behind. Uh, let's go. Uh, make sure you guys comment below what your thoughts are of the expansion so far. Coming across that scorcher and beautiful design that they've updated. Look at this guy. That's why I had to do it in HD. Look at that. Otherwise, it would just be kind of like a blurry blur. Like, look at the sky. Every single way you turn, it could be an image. It's absolutely stunning. I don't want to go that way, do I? Hang on, let me get rid of my marker. Oh, it wants me to go all the way down there. That's why it's doing that. Into the frozen wilds. All right, we'll go. that noise. Outlander on the mountain. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Hopefully it's me. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Hang on. Screenshot. Oh, I, t I took it too late, I think. <laughs> 
You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? Hey there. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. We made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Oh my goodness. So that's what they're talking about. Well, um rising from the mountain. From the village too. What's it for? Okay, let's let's um activate this quest. So we've got these these things going now. In times like these. All right. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Suffered a great loss. We must trust our attack. Wow, what the heck is this? Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Well, damn. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd give their position away. Wait, what? Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears, striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Nope. <laughs> will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear. Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fool. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea. 
spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no, here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuke want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. <laughs> Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. Good luck. No, we'll I just want go. to know more about this Damon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine. Like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok can tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. None grant machines Might be worth a shot. Yeah, Alright, so, do we want to talk? Who do we want to talk to? Talk to you too. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It is changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Oh, we're well, gonna leave I him. guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. My word. You either hunt well or you don't Hopefully no talk will shed a bit more light. Okay. <laughs> or do we just go past how this demon affects the machines? I've gotta find a ray that I need to talk to her apprentice who followed the river north. Hang on. Quickly accept this quest. Outland, well. wait, wait a moment. Nah. <laughs> we'll just quickly you go down here. Is this where not talk is? Um actually yeah, we'll accept this quest. Oh, this color's all wrong. That's uh, so cool. These lands are harsh. Yeah. It must be. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. 
find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past, look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> All right, so where's the toy to go? What? Wait, stop spinning us in circles, all right? Yeah, okay, it literally just took us in a full circle. All right. So, let's head down here. Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. Keep them together this time. Well, we still got turkeys off here. Oh, the winters coming at once. We need to grab these campfires when we can. Outlanders. Large outlanders. Now they have no claim. Bergen said Arya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully, not too far. I bet you they're being attacked by a machine. I bet you that now. <laughs> Perfect way to introduce a new machine. Even though they already introduced the possessed scorcher. That must be Natuk looking out at that. Tower. What the heck is that? that? Like the, or signal. the heck is that? Not Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The demon's energy pulses from them, rallies the machines, even repairs them. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Aratok said this demon was. Frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. Are these towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. All right, you want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started, with my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're going to tell me where she is. That will, um... Interesting. Maybe I could override it. Oh no, not an overpowered chicken. Oh, I just realized that things come and explode and damage us a lot. I think I lost back. Right. Wait, where the heck did the chicken go? Oh, wow. Blue. Right. 
Okay, then. Let's see if this thing can work for me. Oh crud, there's another one? Or maybe the king could have hit this one there. Oh no, I see you. What the heck, how many are there? No, you ain't getting away, mate. So the tower helps nearby machines. But it can be overridden. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls. And make... But be careful. The path is... And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. Skipping a little bit. She goes further up. If you see her, would you tell her... Alrighty, guys, so right. the... I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Right, he's gone. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this first episode. We have gone into the frozen lands. We are off to find... We're off to follow the, the path leading up to Aurea, where we're going to find out what to do next, basically. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really tired, so I'm going to... Cut the episode here. Also, we're at a really good place. You know, a lot of suspense. You guys are going to want to watch the next episode. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Letting me know how you like the expansion so far. I mean, the graphics are definitely amazing. The flawless. New quests, new machines, new towery things. So, yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye.